Welcome back. We're so pleased to be reopening our day programs, but before you enter, we'll need to check your temperature just to make sure that we keep everyone safe and healthy. You must be wearing a mask in order to enter the building. The next thing you'd be asked to do after answering some questions is to stop and sanitize your hands upon entering the building. This is to make sure that we keep everyone clean, safe, and healthy. The proper way to sanitize your hands is to make sure that you rub the hand sanitizer all over, even in between your fingers, and then wait a moment for your hands to dry before touching anything else. Let's take a look at the proper way to wear a mask. Make sure that you position the mask so it fully covers your mouth and nose, and then secure the mask behind your ears. It's important to make sure the mask is tight to your face, so if your mask has a nose closure, make sure to pinch it on the bridge of your nose. If your nose isn't covered, you're not wearing your mask properly. Nope, chin guards won't work either. It's really important for your safety and the safety of those around you that your mask covers your whole face. There are a few different types of masks, so if you're using a disposable mask, make sure that the right side is facing up. Oftentimes, there is a piece of metal inside the top of the mask that can help you secure it over your nose. Place the mask over your mouth and nose Secure behind your ears. Make sure your face is fully covered. No, the mask does not go over your eyes. That's better. It's important to wear a mask anytime you're in the vehicle. This counts for riding in agency vehicles or on paratransit. Since there's not a sink available in the vehicle, you can use hand sanitizer when you get in the van and at the end of transportation. It's still important to make sure that your hands dry fully before touching anything. Social distancing is another key step we can take to keep each other safe. This is how far six feet apart is, the proper distance for social distancing. This is not six feet apart. Maybe we could do better. Perfect! These chairs are positioned six feet apart on opposite sides of the table. When you are social distancing, it's important to continue wearing your mask just to stay extra safe. What's that? You need a break? Sure, if you're six feet apart from anyone else, you can take your mask off to eat your lunch or take a quick break. But it's important to put it back on as soon as you can because it really is the best way to keep yourself and everyone around you safe. Let's take a look at proper hand washing. There should be signs posted around your site near the sinks. First, turn the water on, get some soap on your hands, and then be sure to take a full 20 seconds to really scrub and wash your hands. It's important that you clean the palms of your hands as well as the back of your hands and really get between your fingers. It takes 20 seconds to properly wash your hands. Not sure how long that is? One trick is that you can sing through the song, Happy Birthday, two times. That's about 20 seconds and should be a good length of time to scrub your hands. Next, rinse off any extra soap. Grab a paper towel, dry your hands, and use that paper towel to turn off the faucet. Make sure your hands are fully dry before returning to your day program activities. You may be wondering why some things around program look a little bit different these days. We've put these signs up to help remind you of how to keep yourself and others safe. We are so happy to have you back at program and we really hope that we can all do our part to keep each other safe and healthy.